there's a large pyrocumulus cloud formed by the fire. One of the most important parts of this series, I believe, is, is the social relevance. And I hope that it will touch people in a way that inspires them to, to take action. If it's this monkey, you just hold that in front of your mouth. Just hold that, hold that, yeah, yeah. Hey, you stay. Climate change that is affecting us. Um, the fact that it's, you know, raising the temperatures, it just makes, it makes things worse, and harder to control. Come on! Listen to the scientists, you know, I believe we have to make changes and the scientists are the people to listen to. We need to pay attention, listen, and do the things that we need to do in order to look after our Earth. Is this, is this normal? Never seen it like this before. It's interesting that it takes this for us to realise the impact and the importance of nature and what we have in Australia, the wildlife that we have. I just wonder how long is it going to take, how many orders of magnitude, how much worse does, does it have to get before we acknowledge the, um, the context for these worsening storms and worsening fires. By us doing this, I'm hoping that that's our way of, that, that that's our voice. I feel that that's how I can lend a voice. Hopefully a more interesting way of doing that rather than me sitting talking about environmental issues or, or proselytizing or, but it is something that is of enormous concern to me personally. Real change always begins with connecting on an intimate level and, and I think empathy needs to exist to enact change and hopefully we can play a part in that. These natural disasters, they, they will only become more frequent and more intense as long as we continue business as usual. <laughs>